welcome to this video in this video i'm going to share with you 25 top child development multiple choice questions and answers if you are new to this channel and uh, this is your first time i need you to become a subscriber and if you have already subscribed and are a member of this channel i need you to continue supporting this channel without uh, wasting much of your time let's uh, dive into the questions number one eric erickson proposed the main stages of development a 4 b 6 c 8 d 12 remember eric erickson is a developmental psychologist and he proposed eight stages of development which of the following individuals is a major theorist in behaviorism a Sigmund Freud, B. Jean Piaget, C. B. F. Skinner, D. D. H. Long. The correct answer here is B. F. Skinner. Remember, Sigmund Freud is a psychoanalyst and Jean Piaget is a cognitivist. So the correct answer here is C. B. F. Skinner. A reinforcer is basic to biological functioning. A. Primary. B. Secondary. C. Tertiary. D. Sensory. The correct answer here is primary. A primary reinforcer is a basic to biological functioning. Number four. Dash is not one of the, re of the levels of reasoning suggested by Kopec. The key answer here, the uh, key is not, one of the following is not uh, one of the levels of reasoning suggested by Kobeck. Remember, Kobeck uh, uh, proposed stages of moral development A. Pre convictional, B. Non convictional, C. Post convictional, D. Convictional. Which of the following is not one of the levels of reasoning suggested by Kobeck? The correct answer here is B non-convictional this is not one of the levels of moral development or stages of reasoning is suggested by Kobeck. so the correct answer here is b ivan pavlov's um, observations of animal salivation led to the development of learning principles referred to as dash conditioning a operant b classical c instrumental D. Apichwa. Ivan Pavlov's observation of animal salivation led to the development of learning principles referred to as stage conditioning. The correct answer here is classical conditioning. Number six, providing a student with enough help to complete a task and then gradually decreasing the help as the learner becomes able to work independently is called stage. A. Shielding. B. Scaffolding. C. Reinforcing. D. Evaluating. Evaluating. The correct answer here is scaffolding. This is whereby one provides a student with enough help to complete a task and then gradually decreasing the help as the learner becomes able to work alone and independently. So the correct answer here is b looking back at something and thinking about what happened or why it happened is practicing dash a reflexive reflective thinking b problem solving c cognitive strategies d critical thinking looking back at something and thinking about what happened or why it happened is practicing the correct answer here is reflective thinking. So reflective thinking is whereby one looks at uh, something, thinking why it happened or why it may be taking place. So the correct answer here is A. Sorry. All right. Number eight, an instructional strategy in which learners work together in small groups to help one another achieve a common learning goal is called a walk class 
discussion b cooperative learning c scaffolding d problem based learning the correct answer here in a for instruction now strategy in which learners work together in small groups to help one another achieve a learning goal is called cooperative learning so number eight b knowledge about how to teach effectively in a particular discipline is called referred to as a general pedagogical knowledge b pedagogical content knowledge c knowledge about how people learn d subject knowledge so the knowledge about how to teach effectively in a particular discipline is called pedagogical content knowledge number 10 the two processes associated with changes based on adaptation in a child's scheme schemes are a interpersonal and intrapersonal convergence b accommodation and assimilation d divergence and convergence d heuristic and algorithm algorithmic algorithm algorithmic so the two processes associated with changes based on adaptation in a child's schemes are accommodation and assimilation so number 10 the correct answer is b a child must be in the stage in which stage of cognitive development in order to engage in abstract thinking a concrete operational b symbolic inter interaction c formal operations d post convictional for a child to engage in abstract thinking he has to be in which stage of cognitive development the correct answer is formal operations if a child is unable to is able to engage in abstract thinking that child should be operating under formal operations number 12 the ericksonian crisis in which a child must learn to function in society for example school with friends or as a member of the family is the stage of dash a repression versus uh, sublimation b trust versus mistrust c industry versus inferiority d self versus other the correct answer is c when a child is under this uh, stage he or she is able to learn how to function within a community or with friends or within a school within the school setting so the correct answer number 12 is c individual sense of who he is and what uh, are his um, inequalities are is referred to the individuals a self-actualization b ego concept c self-concept d perceived self an individual sense of who, who he is and what his unique qualities are is often referred to as the individual's self-concept so number 13 the correct answer is c which of the following individuals is a major theoretician of the cognitive development of the child a Jean Piaget, B. Sigmund Freud, C. B. F. Skinner, D. K. G. Franks. The correct answer is A. Jean Piaget is one is the major theorist uh, involved in the cognitive development of children. So the correct answer is A. Knowledge about um, the fundamental concepts principles and relationships that define your subject is referred to a general pedagogical knowledge b pedagogical content knowledge c knowledge about how people learn d knowledge about your subject knowledge about the fundamental concepts principles and relationships that define the subject that define your subject is referred to correct answer is d knowledge about your subject number 16 which of the following 
is associated with a teacher-centered approach. A, small group discussion. B, direct instruction. B, cooperative learning. C, problem solving. Which of the following is associated with a teacher-centered approach? The correct answer here is direct instruction. Direct instruction is the one that is associated with a teacher-centered approach. So the correct answer, 16, is B. Grounding a child for misbehavior is an example of A, negative reinforcement, B, shaping, C, punishment, D, all of the above. Grounding a child for misbehavior is an example of when you look at the options, the correct answer is punishment. So punishment is a form of a grounding. Then uh, number 18, which of the following, which one of the following is most consistent with the position of BF Skinner? Skinner's being needs. A, learning principles apply to all animals. B, learning principles of lower order animals are different from higher order animal from different from higher order animals and uh, c learning principles for humans is different from uh, the principles of learning from animals and d none of the above which of the following is more is most is most consistent with the position of P.F. Skinner. The correct answer, when you look at all of the above, you realize that none of them is consistent with the position of P.F. Skinner. So the correct answer is none of the above. Which one of the following is not a characteristic of an effective teacher? A. Confidence. B. Knowledgeable, C. Resourceful and Inventive, D. Perfectionist. Which of the following is not a characteristic of an effective teacher? When you look at the options, the one that is not consistent, which that is not a characteristic of an effective teacher is D. Perfectionist. Number 20. If a child's new experience or information do not fit an existing, existing scheme, according to Piaget, the child must employ the process of A. Cognitive divergence B. Self-monitoring C. Accommodation D. Prototyping If a child's new ex experiences or information do not fit an existing scheme according to Piaget, the child must employ accommodation. So the correct answer number 20 is C. An individual's sense of who he is or she is and what his or her unique qualities are is referred to as the individual's dish. A self-actualization, ego concept, self-concept, perceived self. The correct answer is self-concept. Number 22, the desire to attain one's full potential as a human being reflects the need for dash. A, self-actualization, B, self-esteem, C, psychological closure, D, spirituality. The desire to attain one full potential as a human being reflects the need for self-actualization. Number 22, the correct answer is A. Which one of the following is not the criticism of Corbeck's uh, model of moral development? A. The moral dilemmas are unsolvable. It is biased against women. It is culturally biased. All the above were cited. Which one of the following is not the criticism of Corbeck's model of moral development? The correct answer is C. It is culturally biased. Number 24. 
which one of the following is not one of the basic phenomena associated with operant conditioning a shaping b extinction c centration d or of the above which one of the following is not a one of the basic phenomena associated with operate conditioning the correct answer is c which is centration which one of the following ericksonian crisis is likely to be experienced during the same time that former operations unfold a autonomy versus shame and doubt b industry versus inferiority c identity versus role diffusion c initiative versus guilt which one of the following ericksonian crisis is likely to be experienced during the same time that former operations unfold the correct answer here is c identity versus role diffusion so the correct answer number 25 is c we've come to the end of this video and i would like to thank you for taking your time and uh, schedule to view this video feel free to put comments or anything that you might feel you want to share with me so that i may improve the content that i'm sharing with you and if you haven't uh, subscribed to this channel i urge you once again to subscribe thank you for taking your time and may the good lord bless you in your studies and in your life thank you so much